Hello everybody, Salty the Hyena here, and welcome to another episode of Bot Build Showcase. Today we're going to take a look at a really good build that was a favorite of mine in 2.0, it's the 2-cap. It's a hybrid between a fast ravager and a capacitor ravager, with two sprint capacitors and three sprint accelerators. This gives it a max sprint speed of 145 km an hour and a cooldown of 7.6 seconds. This is faster than most of the bots out there, except for the pure fast ravager. I'm running light armors. These were the only one I had in store, so that's what I mounted to it. And of course EM circuits to shore up my protection against Shons. Fulgur is the best weapon in the game. Uh, magazine and automation on the hammer and magazine and reinforced ammunition on the manglers. These weapons are set up to have the same, same cycle time. Having the same cycle time is the most important aspect of how to outfit the Ravager, in my opinion. We're gonna test the, its performance in this game against AI. Here we can see that it has a rather fast sprint speed. As I said earlier, this is faster than most bots in the game currently. This was uh, uh, this was one of my favorite builds in 2.0. Uh, I haven't played it enough to know if it's uh, how good it is in the current iteration of the game. It is good, now that no doubt about it, but I, I'm no longer sure if uh, it's better than the Fast Ravager and the Capacitor Ravager. Because in 2.0 I thought those were the, fa the best builds. No, that th this build was better than those builds, sorry. But now I think the pure Capacitor Ravager and the Fast Ravager, which I will do in another vid video, I think those builds are better. Even, even, um, <coughs> sorry about that. But it still has, as I said, a really fast sprint speed and uh, its maneuverability while sprinting is superb. Um, and having just a 7.6 second cooldown on its sprint is also really handy. Here we can see I'm taking up position on one of the, my favorite AI grinding spots in the Ravager. And uh, having my sprint being online most of the time, it's really handy against the AI. This weapon setup is also pretty decent. It has a high damage output and uh, you don't have to expose yourself for too long. Now, if you have a large surplus of manglers and hammers, I recommend trying this build out. It's pretty decent. You can see here I'm using the sprint pretty actively. Even though I keep forgetting to use my javelin. While grinding AI might be mind-numbingly boring, it is, for those of you who are quite new to the game, it will serve as a decent way of practicing your piloting skills. Personally, I, uh, I never, almost never grind AI if uh, there is competitive game to be had. I vastly prefer playing against human opponents. And, and if we... Uh, I, I wish that I could uh, show you this build to you in like a competitive setting. Uh, 
but it's too hard to set up and I need to <laughs> this video needs to be uploaded today so that you guys can watch it tomorrow if you guys have checked out my live streams um, it's quite likely that you've seen this bot in action against human opponents There goes my chest, and uh, I'm actually surprised I lasted this long, but I was, uh, I guess I was kind of lucky to avoid the AI's attention. Forgetting to check my range there, it's out of mangy range, that's really <laughs> well played of me, very well played. Using a bit of sprint to avoid that javelin train. I almost never use the whole 10 seconds of sprint. I usually just uh, employ sprint for like short distances to make sure that I always have a burst of speed available if I should need it. Against AI you never need to worry about uh, a shon or might suddenly attacking you from an angle you didn't predict and you that's one of the things you don't have to worry about in an AI game but in human games in competitive games you always need to watch out for the light bots as I've said the folder in my opinion is the very best weapon in the game my chest is gone my core is red I guess this bot build showcase is nearing its end it's been a pleasure as always, um, hope you like it, let me know what you think in the uh, comment section. If you have requests for what I'm going to do next, just let me know. See you next time.